All right, so uh, it's been a while since I've made a tutorial, guys. I'm, I'm sorry about that, but uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a normal map from an image in Blender 3.0.1. So with all the new system for Workbench and the updated EV and all that, because I know a lot of things have changed since my last video. So you'll set it to Workbench uh, rendering. Is uh, that way you can get the mat caps for your lighting, and you'll just set it to the normal map mat cap, and set your samples to none, no anti-aliasing. <clears throat> then when you put your uh, wh when you render it, it should render with a beautiful normal map mat cap. Now you'll put uh, some verts on here by subdividing it a bunch. And you'll want to do that twice. I, I'll i generally do a uh, six level uh, subdivision to start with my plane. It just adds a good amount to start. And then I'll fine tune it with another one. So I'll probably set this to four, this one to two. And then uh, a displacement map, of course. And I usually, I will change the coordinates off of local. And I'll set them to UV. That way you can have it facing the way you want. Because... Let's say you started doing this and your camera was rotated 90 degrees and you didn't know. Well, now your image is going to be sideways and it's just, it's better to deal with it now and stop any issues in the future. So then, of course, you're going to want to go to your camera and we have perspective enabled right now. So if we get closer to our object or, you know, if uh, our texture is coming out at us, it's going to look really strange with perspective. So you do want to set it to orthographic, which it's basically like if you hit uh, five on the numpad, it will make it so uh, there's no perspective at all. So from a top down view, you're not going to have any parts of the texture like sticking out of the square. It's going to fit and form perfectly in there as if uh, as the regular texture would. And you'll set your resolution to um, you want to use something divisible by two, so probably 512 by 512, 1024 by 1024 for like a 1K texture. Um, most games these days are using two, 2048, so that's what I'll use for now, um, just for the sake of the video. And you'll set your uh, camera scale actually to uh, to two, which will fit it in two squares of the grid here. So. The default uh, plane fits perfectly in the center. Then you'll go over to your modifiers, displace, and you'll make sure that it's uh, texture here. So when you go over to textures, you make sure the one you're editing is texture. So if you have multiple textures on your scene, you want to make sure you're using the one that is being used as a displacement. And then make an image or movie, open the file, find whatever texture you want, because a lot of textures, uh, sadly, do not have a normal map to go with them. Or if you just want to save money on, like, textures.com, you could just get the diffuse. It's not perfect. I'm not saying this is perfect. But it'll work. And you can get just the diffuse texture and turn it into a normal map with this. So you'll take it like this. It looks like garbage right now. So you'll want to set it to shade smooth. And you'll want to bring this... Uh, displacement way down I'm gonna set it to uh, 0.06 because I just found with you know displacing uh, textures you generally want to keep it at a low number between like 0.1 and 0 like just really low numbers so I'm gonna go with 0.6 for this guy and then um, to round off some of these really rough details because you don't want it to you don't want your normal map to look all jagged you want it to be kind of like this clean crisp uh normal map you'll set a smooth modifier now in my last video i i, I did mess this up um and i didn't address it and totally just passed right by me i don't know how but you'll want to change it off of xyz you just want Z. So let's, I'll show you why. So if you set this to uh, to smooth, right, these corners will all be brought in by the smooth modifier. See? 
So you don't want to do X, Y, and Z. You just want to do the Z axis. So you're just bringing your texture lower, which will round off some of those rough edges. You don't want to be bringing it in from the edges because then your texture won't be seamless. So you just set it to Z. You don't want to set this too high because you really you do want those textures still there. So kind of just fiddle around with these numbers, find what works for you, you know, find find something that works not just for you but for like that specific texture because every texture is going to be different with the amount of subdivisions you use the how much you smooth it like if i add any more than four on this guy it might end up looking pixelated because i don't really have that many pixels so then i'll have to backtrack so you just really want to work with these numbers until you get something that works perfectly for that texture and then pretty much that's it You've got this setup as workbench, no anti-aliasing, matte cap set to normal. You've got, make sure your render samples are what's high and not just your viewport because you are going to have to render this to get your uh, normal map look. You got your displacement setup and your smooth modifier. And you just hit F12 or you come up here and you hit render image and that's it. Now you've got a normal map from an image. Um, one other thing, actually, so the default for, uh, Blender is View Transform here under this window. They have it set to Filmic for, uh, high quality renders. You do want to change this to Standard. You want to make sure your look is set to None. That way it's using just the pure, raw color data instead of, look, if you set it to Filmic, like, it grays it out a bunch which makes more sense for like a, a photograph like scene, but you definitely want to make sure that it's not set to filmic when you're doing normal maps or any kind of texturing actually. So just set it to standard, look none, and that's it. And then you just save your image and this should work perfect as a normal map for you.